Hello and welcomes everyone, and Wolf here bringing you a brief video of a multiplayer match of StarCraft 2 that I played just earlier this morning, in the very early hours, at about 20 past 4 actually, here in the top left hand corner playing Zerg on the map Central Protocol I believe it's called. I am obviously I'm using my username as Hunter. And in the bottom right hand corner playing Protoss is a user, another player called Simcat. I say I don't normally play StarCraft 2 uh, multiplayer but since I couldn't sleep this morning and I didn't want to record that early um, any more of the Heart of the Swarm campaign which I'm currently uh, recording for my channel I thought I may as well record some, um, I might as well try multiplayer and win or lose, have a go see how we do. So obviously we start off with um, 12 workers in the Legacy of the Void multiplayer so immediately we get quite a few minerals quite fast so I start building my spawning pool start building my first extractor to try and get um, Zerg speed quite quickly and let's have a look here Oh, of course. Simcad is already sending an early uh, probe out to scout. Obviously, if I get him um, over... He doesn't spot my spawning pool at the back there. But he is working, obviously, on... He's got his first gate rope. He's got his first extract... Um, first assimilator. And he's also got a forge. So, at the time, I wasn't too sure. But after watching the replay back, I was slightly nervous about uh, maybe a like a cannon rush so when I saw that probe coming out so early I was a little bit nervous I have watched some uh, Starcraft 2 multiplayer to know what I could expect to happen I start trying to get my second hatchery down so I can start gathering more minerals more quickly but at the same time I'm always aware of what may occur so I send a drone across I'm not sure how you focus and follow the drone but at the same time, I'm sending two overlords across the map just to find out where his spawn actually is. And thankfully, my drone gets it right the first time. It's actually just going into his base right now. See, he uh, is Corona boosting a zealot. And I don't click on this, but it's actually a twilight counter that he's actually constructing. So he may have potentially been considering going blink, and when he saw that I had scared it, he may have changed his mind. Otherwise, yeah, he's just basically getting a lot of his workers out. He's fully saturated. And as I say, he's, just, he's boosting him. Um, well, nothing much at the moment, actually. He's corona boosting on his gateway, but he's not actually building anything there. But then he goes down to uh, two robo facilities. Meanwhile, over here, I am getting a Rotorum. Just so I have a bit of a um, bit of missile M um, capability. I should say. Protoss, for Protoss I think I'll tend to build their uh, roaches anyway. They tend to do a better job than just plain zerglings. But yeah, at the same time I'm getting some queens out. I'm trying to get some uh, creep tumors down to spread my creep to connect my two bases up. And so yeah, I think I'm also working on uh, zerg speed, metabolic boost. So my zerglings have extra speed. But yep, now we have some air. Uh, Capability. I think I accidentally supply block myself quite a few times. So I had to keep an eye on the supply limit there. But then, yeah. Semkit starts working on a Dark Shrine so that he can actually warp in Dark Templar. Now, I have no idea about this. My Overlord is slowly making its way over. And obviously, Semkit's also starting to produce uh, Immortals. I think he's Corona boosting it as well. The structure is in an accelerated state. So I think he's tempted to get um, aggressive quite early. Obviously, he's getting a second and third gateway. Meanwhile, I'm just trying to get some spines at the front in case of an early attack, getting my creep out. I've got one evolution chamber, and I think I start going into a second. I think this uh, drone goes into a second evolution chamber, yep. I start uh, just producing some roaches at the front here. All in all, so good. Ah. That's it. And my overlord, did I scout? 
could I have scouted? I didn't click on... I should have clicked on this building, actually. And I would have seen a dark shrine, and then I would have been more aware of what was going on, but I didn't think of it at the, at the time, to be honest with you. Just keep spreading my creep. I'm working on missile attacks level 1 right now, and I think I start going into carapace. There you go. Still producing. I'm not very good at actually spawning lava. I try to keep up with it, but I don't have many hotkeys, as you can see. And meanwhile, um, Semkit's actually got a probe and got a forward pylon. He's actually turned his gateways into warp gates. So he could get pretty aggressive. He's got two immortals out right now. He still hasn't got... Looks like he's considering now going for a second base. So he's been working on oh, just off one base right now, so I kind of expected him to be ultra aggressive, and he actually goes for a free forge. I almost wouldn't say wall off. But he's protecting his pylons, I think. Back here. Meanwhile, I take my third hatchery, since I haven't had any aggressive actions against me so far. I thought I may as well try to get more... more minerals. I think I start mining out this base. Yeah, the space is getting mined out quite quickly. I say I don't really have a timing attack, I just wanted the upgrade as soon as possible. And then I realised I was trying to get a Gelial Reconstruction to increase the movement speed of my roaches, and I realised you need a lair. So I start obviously mutating my first hatchery that way. The second Nexus is dropped. He's always mined out. I think he's mined out part of his first base already. And he's starting to go for a warp prism. So he's built, he's brought his force forward. I really should have maybe used my speed air, speedlings, and roaches to like maybe gain some more map awareness, more map control. Oh, if I had a thought on, I maybe should have spread this creep tumor up to the north. Maybe consider maybe taking a fourth base either here. Or down here. But I don't because this is my first ever multiplayer match. See, so, um, Semkit's starting to go for his level 1 attack and armor while I'm working on my level 2 missile attacks and my level 1 melee attacks. I produce, I overproduce queens. I think I have four. Um, is there a unit button? There is. No, three queens. And then, yeah, um, he starts working on some Dark Templar. I'm not sure if he... I don't think he warps them in. I think he just builds them and runs them across the map. Where are those Dark Templar now? Oh, no. They might have got warped in. Let's see, I bring one of my queens out. Yeah, I think I have a fourth queen now that my third hatchery is up. And I start getting Burrow and Gilial Reconstitution. I think that if my roaches have, um, if I can burrow my roaches um, afterwards, I'll be able to go into tunneling claws, allowing my roaches to move while burrowed and also increase their life regeneration. That's the way, the direction in which I'm going. I may have, may have should have considered going Baneling as well. I was considering it, but. Uh, things start to occur in the very near future. I think once missile attack level 2 is complete, things start picking up. But it's quite a passive game. Obviously his one uh, attack is obviously just finished. He starts going into shield and weapons level 2. Then I go into my carapace level 2. I'm still producing more roaches. How many roaches do I have? 12 roaches, 32 zerglings against... Dark Templar, four mortals, two stalkers. So he doesn't have a very big force, but I haven't scouted it at all. And he has no idea how big my force is, I think. He hasn't really came across and seen what I've been building up in the background. What do you notice, obviously? He has these Dark Templar, and I have no detection whatsoever. I have no. There you go. I start working on my Spore Crawlers because I'm thinking maybe War Prism? He's been a bit passive, so I'm thinking, how could he possibly um, 
attack me on and get me unaware and work on my mineral lines. So I start working on my spores, and actually that's when he starts to attack. And I actually hear it. I think I'm over here at the time, my camera. And I hear the walls being worked. So I get my army. I obviously bring them round this way. I obviously pop them a few zerglings. And here comes like, the first real battle. So it could surround on the immortals. Obviously, I don't even know at this time he has Dark Templar. I send my army across the map and then I see them. So I bring my army quickly back in to deal with the Dark Templar. And that's when I send my army across the map. Meanwhile, he's working on two more immortals. And I start working on more roaches and I think zerglings almost immediately and try to rally them across to try and do an counter attack. I don't think he got anything done. He killed my queen. But that was a sacrifice worth making, basically. And if we look at his point of view right now... There it is. He kind of sees what I'm doing. If he's paying attention, that is. That says two immortals out. He's got two more on the way. And I just kind of ravage his um, second base. And then I go straight in. So he's warping in two Dark Templar once again. But I have a force of, what, 30 roaches. So his army melts apart from his Dark Templar. I should have maybe warped... Turned one of my overlords into an overseer, so I had some detection with this army. But Semke GG's. Obviously, at this point in time, I think he's just going to leave the game and give me the victory. But it keeps going. And I'm thinking, if I leave, do I get the victory? Or is that me conceding? Yeah, I think it's only at this point I start realizing, what's killing my roaches? So I realize I should go for his mineral line and just basically destroy his entire mineral line. And it allows me time to recover. I'm not actually producing anything back at home. Obviously, I bring some Zerglings over. But I realise I should uh, recover my army now that I've broken most of his probes. And then go for one final push, maybe. So I start building a lot more Zerglings, a lot more Roaches. Simkits saying dot dot dot. Because I don't know why, to be honest with you. I don't realise at the time he's actually bringing his Dark Templar over. So yeah, I'm trying to rebuild my evolution chambers. So I can start keep working on my upgrades in case he's going to prolong this fight. I'm thinking I might as well keep making my uh, army stronger. These drones don't actually end up doing anything. I maybe should have made some spore crawlers. Or maybe could warp one of these overlords into an overseer now, which I could have done. And I bring my army. And yeah, he kind of, if I go to my view, he just comes in range of that spore crawler, and that's his army entirely destroyed. And he leaves. Some kid was defeated, I was victorious. I say a lot of things could have went wrong for me if he had attacked much earlier on before I had the spore crawlers, those. Dark Templar could have ravaged my mineral lines, and I had totally forgotten about how to transfer overlords into overseers for detection as well, because during that last moment, if I can find it here, if I go from my point of view, I think you can kind of see, there you go, the subtle where the Dark Templar are. So we kind of had to sacrifice this army just to ravage his mineral line. Yeah, you can see them just over here. There you go, there's a Dark Templar moving out. 
See, I don't even see that, to be honest. I'm already... My point of view, my camera's over here somewhere. Mineral field depleted. Yeah, that's not so good. So I'm just working on getting my army over here once again, rallying it together. I'm thinking of maybe bringing my queens together. To send them across as well. But here come his uh, Dark Templar. How do I f chase them? It must be like a chase cam. Oh, he's got his warp prism there. He's maybe thinking of maybe putting a base down here. But yeah, if I go to my point of view, I don't see them at all. I just know it's happening. And this is where I start panicking. Going, how the hell am I going to defend this? I don't... My sp if he stays out here, I'm in trouble. But then he, yeah, he walks into my detection range and I get a good surround. And thankfully, that was the match. Whew. But, um, yeah, obviously, Simkit will probably never find this video, but obviously if he does, thank you very much for my first match. As in, I was very, very lucky, and the, the, the reason I probably did as well as I kind of did there is because I'm currently recording my Heart of the Swarm campaign, so I'm getting used to the some of the micromanaging, some of the macro game, getting your getting my fourth base out even at the end there. What do I stop building that? Must have been about 26 seconds ago. So yeah, just as he was bringing his Dark Templar over, I think I must have <clears throat> got my drone instructed to make a fourth base, just in case he um, wanted to prolong it. Because I'm not sure if you can ask uh, another player for their surrender. They have to either quit the game or surrender to you. I honestly don't know if that's an option. Let's say, because this is my first actual match, and thankfully it went well. I say, yeah, obviously I'll leave this video here. I'll probably put it into my random stuff. I'm not going to really make a dedicated StarCraft 2 multiplayer playlist or anything like that. This was just a, a one-off sort of, ah, oh, why don't I do this? Like, you even notice that I don't even have any extractors on my sec my second or third base. I'm basically playing this game almost purely gasless because I don't think do roaches they cost a little bit of Vespian gas, but I play a mostly Zerg Roach playstyle in this uh, game. And I probably only would have thought about getting more Vespian if I had built that Banelink nest so I could morph my Zergs into uh, Banelings. But uh yeah, I say feel free to let me know what you think. Um it could it was horrible, I know, but I just enjoyed myself at about, as I say, about half four this morning. So, yeah, I'll see you all, obviously, for more videos of whatever I record in the future. Till then, bye-bye now.